I came to Vancouver to marry the grandson of my father's friend. My father and my husband's to be's grandfather were both freedom fighters. I was 17 years old. I was married nine days after I arrived. I came with only three Indian suits since my grandfather in law told me that I will be Canadian now. He already lived in Canada and knew the culture. I would only wear these suits at home or to the temple, also to my wedding. A friend of the family named Blanche went shopping for me and bought me three western outfit. At first we lived in a neighborhood around 59th and Main. One very nice neighbor, Mrs. Frida Rample, taught me to sew and cook western food and at that time I could not speak English. I was very homesick. She was so nice to me. In 1972, I attended a meeting at Raminder Dasanj's home with the idea to create a movement where Canadian South Asian women could have a voice. In India, when I was 14, I went house to house with elder women signing a petition against war. I was brought up in a political environment. We officially registered this group of five friends in 1973 as the India Mela Association. Around this time, we started to volunteer our time and share Indian culture in Vancouver. We would cook Indian food at Woodward's downtown, at UBC, and at schools. We would demonstrate how to wear turbans and saris. India Mela dance group even put on dance shows. We celebrate our shared culture heritage and work on women's rights, especially racism, sexism and violence against women. Now we have celebrated 38 years of volunteer service for the equality of women. I have also been married 56 years. I am really happy to have achieved this beautiful environment. Nature has given me the strength to come up to this point with hundreds of friends and wonderful community.